Here are the standings after four of the 200 laps are complete with Waltrip, Schrader, and Lavati. The front three, there are driver changes taking place in this first caution of the event. Bill Elliott's car number nine rolled onto pit road. He stepped out. Jody Ridley has stepped into the car, and it's just rolling off pit road. This was the actual change they made. George and Martha Elliott, his mother and father, George and Mildred Elliott, the mother and father, watching up home in Dawsonville today. Here's Jody Ridley climbing in to car number nine. It's not an easy chore to change drivers, Ken. There's so much uh, safety paraphernalia and, and radios to hook up and all of that. It takes time. Well, it took a minute and 23 seconds to be exact, Ned. It was a leisurely stop, but one of the things I had to do was to readjust the shoulder harness belt lengths because of the Elliott is quite tall. And Dave Despain is down there with Bill Elliott now. Hold that arm up here. Let's see uh, while you tell us how it felt out there. Short ride, wasn't it? Well, it was a short ride. You know, I really didn't get a lot. Uh, tired or anything, the arm really didn't hurt, but the problem that I was going to have, if something did happen, you know, when I re-injured this thing, that's why it was critical for me to get out, put Jody in, give him plenty of time to get caught back up. I know he's in the back right now, but he's got a lot of time to gain some ground back. The early caution really worked to your advantage, didn't it? Well, I'm glad of it because at least they don't put us in a bad situation. The car's not a lap down. We've got a chance to go on and run good in this race, and that's what we're here for. Let's go down to the other driver change, Mike Joy. Kyle Petty has climbed into the Eddie Beerswall car. Beerswall from Texas. Well, uh, that was a quick ride for you today. Haven't even broke a sweat. Oh, well, I always break a sweat, but it was a quick one. We we made a deal with Kyle, you know, to get him in the car. We made a deal with him, Felix, Sabas, Ted Condor for the peak people, unit of people. You know, they were all down here, and they had some trouble getting everything set up for the race, and we had our car in. We didn't have a sponsor that we had to take care of, and they did. And we've been good friends, and I think they'd have done the same thing for us in the past, so we helped them out. Let's go to Dave Despain. Bill Elliott's car has come back on pit road. Jody Ridley now at the controls, and Ernie Elliott is going to make an additional adjustment here, and it's obvious that in the one caution lap that he was able to make, Jody came up with some sort of a problem, something he wasn't entirely comfortable with, and let's see if we can find out from Ernie Elliott what that was all about. Ernie, a second stop, what was the problem there? Oh, nothing. We were just, you know, situating the little things that he needed to be done. You set a car up all week for one driver and then change drivers in a matter of about 30 seconds. Now Jody's comfortable at the back of the pack and ready to try to get to the front. Well, Dave, I wonder if they knew that they were given the one-lap signal to go when they came around the last time. He's going to have to hurry to get caught up to the field. He perhaps can do it, but the cars are coming off of turn four now ready to take the green flag. But you can see that he's really on the gas. They have not gone a lap down on this car number nine with that minute 23 stop and this 37-second stop. They're supposed to be getting green this time by after Neil Bonnet back with the Wood Brothers for whom he drove from 1979 to 82 and won himself nine races had trouble in the very second lap of the 31st 500. Harold Kinder displays the green. We're back underway with Waltrip first, Schrader second, Labonte third, Marlin fourth, going fifth, Bill Parsons and Rick Mast in number 66 is six. Richard Petty down the bottom of the track taking three cars on the restart going into turn one. Remember, he's coming from way back after he had a miserable time in qualifying. Richard Petty can only get up to 186 miles per hour, whereas Schrader was 196. And look how far away the first two cars have been able to break away. Waltrip and Schrader teaming up together in a draft have pulled away. Now, some of the other cars want to try to line up in a draft themselves and see if they can catch back up to them. Stock cars version of the Rock and Roll Express moving out in front from the Hendrick stable by 15 car lengths. Here is Mike Joy with Neil Bonnet. Neil Bonnet, 150,000 people having a barbecue out there. You just had one of your own. What happened? As I came down in a travel, travel with something broke on the car, and I smelled raw fuel come inside, and then all of a sudden it just went off. And I had fire running all up in my lap, and I couldn't breathe. They, I think they can rewire it and we can get going again. I'm going to have to get back up there, but it just all of a sudden just blazed up inside. Thanks, Neil. Well, that's a very unusual happening, and we can see it again as he pulled it off of the racetrack, and you can see the flames from the left front of that Wood Brothers Ford number 21 of Neil Bonnet. We thought maybe the engine had let go, but maybe they can get him back in the race. The pair that were running as happy as mudlarks and drawing away from the field are getting caught now. The remainder pulling back up on them as they come down out of turn number four, this time to complete nine, nine laps of the 200 to be run. It's Sterling Marlin right there. Davey Allison is on the fly, too. Allison pulling up. He's in six. Labonte 
doing a good job in this mix. And Morgan Shepard is showing in eighth. Bodine is in ninth. Gann is in tenth. Brett Bodine, eleventh. Mark Martin, twelfth. Kowicki, thirteenth. Dale Jarrett in fourteenth. Larry Pearson in fifteenth. Further back, you were with Ricky Rudd. He tries to sort himself out. There you see Dave Marcus down on the inside as he goes around Marcus on the high side. Here we've got the eight first-time drivers in the race today, 42 starters, and Rick Mast is really an exalted company in that number 66 car. He's up in fifth place, holding his own with the veterans. Ernie Irvan now in the pits in car number two. Ricky Rudd is in 26th position. Battle for the lead developing, going into turn number one. Schrader on the outside. The man who won the pole who won the Bush Clash on CBS last week. And Waltrip is falling back a bit. Marlin taking second. Yeah, you wonder if Waltrip might have some sort of a problem. He is definitely off the pace. He's Phil Parsons the, comes up to third. He's also out of the draft. It was for a moment. Time is back in, finds fourth. Has stuck back into the draft, but I, I don't think that car is running on all late cylinders right now. So here's Schrader, the pole sitter. Trying to win that old triple crown at Daytona. The pole, the 125, which he was successful at, and then the 500. Now it looks like Waltrip has picked back up, Ken. It could be that he might have just, uh, the car might have gotten a little loose with him, and he thought he had a flat tire and just backed off for a moment to see if there was any problem with it, but he seems to be hanging in there, Chris. It's interesting that that lead that Schrader and Waltrip had built over the rest of the field has been eaten up by the rivals. It's going to be a close race today. There you see Schrader trying to win from the pole. It's only been done by Fireball Roberts, Richard Petty, Buddy Baker, Kelly Yarborough, and Bill Elliott. The total was six times. Elliott did it twice in 85 and 87. Schrader trying to add his name to that illustrious group. behind Dale Jarrett further back in the field. Earnhardt dropped back as Chris mentioned at the, the top of the show but uh, now he seems to be back up to speed and That's certainly helping uh, to pull a pack of cards back up to the front back. Earnhardt and Jarrett back there scrambling for 14th position. Rusty Wallace in 24th position closes up on the back of car number 45 Joe Rutman of Upland California. Getting an ant's eye view of the back of that Rutland car. As to what's happening as we continue to watch the race on Darrell Waltrip's car, here's Mike Joy. Ken, I think he's doing just as he told us at the top of the show, running a very safe, conservative race and waiting it out for the end. He just fired a comfortable place to line and dropped in. Proof Chief Jeff Hammond says, no problem. Let's go to Naples, Spain. Though he never won a race as a driver, Richard Childress has won championships and millions of dollars as a car owner, but now your car has a problem, Richard. What's wrong with Dale Earnhardt? Well, he says whenever he pulls out to go around a car or something, he said it starts to flutter and like it's pulling the air away from the carburetor, so we don't know if it's something in the air filter or carburetor or what. We've had this little flutter and he just won't get out of it. We're going to work on it next pit stop. No sign of it earlier in the week? No idea how to fix it? No, we, you know, we don't have no ideas right now. We're going to try some stuff on the first stop. Earnhardt stuck out there until the next pit stop. Er Earnhardt maintaining that 14th position on the field. Larry Pearson 15th. Mike Alexander 16th. Chad Little now in 17th. 14 laps complete. Richard Petty has moved from 34th to 29th. A.J. Foyt is in 32nd. Jody Ridley, who tail ended the field on the restart, has moved from 41st up to 34th in car number 9. It looks as though Ridley is having a little bit of trouble now that he's caught up to some of the cars that are of speed. He's stuck back there in traffic. He's obviously getting his experience back. It's been three and a half years since Ridley had a start in one of these cars. Well, here and you see him. Got to get accustomed to the car and the track. He's attacking on Greg Sachs now in the Buddy Baker car. 